Hi, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to reveal the secret to making money from blogging. Now, once you understand this concept, you'll be on the right path to making money from your blog. So let's get started. I'm Tyler Stokes and I make a full-time income online from what might appear to be blogging, but I don't consider myself a blogger. I consider myself a business owner and I'll explain why that's important for you as well. Now at the end of this video, I'll discuss the steps to help you actually get started, but what I really wanna focus on in this video are the real ways that blogs make money. And full disclosure, these are the techniques that I personally use to make money online, and they're the exact same things that you can do as well. But before we get into that, we need to take one really quick minute and just cover a few things first. If you wanna make money blogging, you don't wanna create a blog, you want to create a business. So you need to tweak your mindset a little bit. Now I know this might sound like fluff, but trust me, this stuff is important. So you're not a blogger. That's not how you should think of yourself as. You know, yes, a blog might be the tool that you're gonna start your online business journey with, but you know, you need to think bigger than that. You wanna move away from the blogging mindset over to the business building mindset. And more specifically, you need to change your focus from just blogging to also incorporate content marketing. And here's exactly what I mean. What you don't wanna do is create a blog where you're just writing about random stuff. So this works for famous people who already have an audience, but you and I don't have an audience online. And this means that you know we need to supply content that people are actually searching for, rather than creating content that we want to discuss or that we think people want. If someone famous talks about you know, a new weight loss product that they're using and they promote it on their blog and social media platforms, many of their followers are just gonna buy it because of the influence this person has. Now that's not the approach we can use. We need to do a bit of research and find out exactly what our potential audience is searching for instead of just making product suggestions that we like or publishing articles we think are interesting. And trust me, this concept will make much more sense as we go along. Here's what this comes down to. You need to focus on content marketing instead of just blogging. Now, as a definition, blogging is the act of regularly updating a website with articles designed to inform and engage an audience. Now, I always think of a company's blog page or news page when I think of blogging. You know, they're updating their audience with press releases, news updates, product launches, community stories, and so on. Now, here's a definition of content marketing that I got from the Content Marketing Institute. Content marketing is a strategic marketing approach focused on creating and distributing valuable, relevant, and consistent content to attract and retain a clearly defined audience and ultimately to drive profitable customer action. So the main distinction here is research. Content marketers do a lot of research before writing articles or creating other forms of content online, and you need to do this research too. Now, one of the most important types of research is keyword research, and I actually have a full tutorial called Keyword Research for Beginners, and I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. Bottom line, content marketers will research the topics of their blog posts by finding out exactly what their audience is searching for before publishing anything. The content is optimized, which means it's going to target a specific person in your market or target the most profitable topics in your niche. Content marketing focuses on content that is well thought out, valuable to your audience and valuable to you as a publisher. And think about it. Why would you write about topics that your audience is not searching for and won't be profitable for your business? But believe it or not, if you don't do proper research, you will actually end up wasting a lot of your time and hard work producing content that just is not wanted. What you think your audience wants is not always what they're looking for. Remember, you're not an influencer and that's totally okay, but what that means is that you must produce content that your audience is already searching for in order for them to find you and find your blog. So there's a huge difference between content marketing and just blogging about random topics. You can still consider yourself a blogger, but to make money, you need to be a professional blogger, someone who researches topics before writing about them. 
Now, I just wanted to clarify this with you because when I was first getting started, I didn't totally understand this. Okay, so let's talk about how your blog will make money. Now, if you're looking for a list of 25 random ways to monetize your blog, many of which you will probably never actually do, then this information is not for you. There are certainly more than three ways to monetize your blog, but many of them are topic-specific ideas or suggestions for more advanced marketers. Here I want to just focus on a few recommendations and one specific method that I personally use and which I think is the best for you know, the most amount of people, especially beginners. Number three on our list is to sell your own products and skills from your website. Now, certain bloggers make a lot of money doing this, and many people like to recommend this as a top method for making money from your blog. But you, know, you might be thinking, I can't start a course, I can't write a book, I can't coach anyone, I don't have skills or knowledge for freelancing, and guess what? You don't actually need to do any of this stuff, especially not when you're just starting out. And this is why these methods are in the third spot on our list. Sure, you know, these income streams can work very well for certain people, but they don't generally work for beginners. Now, it's great if you have some background skill you can combine with a website and use your blog to promote yourself and sell your services or products, but you absolutely don't need any of this when you're just starting out. At the time of recording this video, none of these make any kind of significant contributions uh, to my current income. But these can be very profitable. And if you see a possibility with one of these, then great, you know, make a note of it and consider it for the future. And obviously, you know, if you already have an established blog right now, you might be able to incorporate some of your own products right away. Now, selling your own course has been a really popular topic lately. A lot of marketers are also recommending this as a good way to make money online. And some are even creating courses on how to make and sell a course. Now, I believe for most people who are looking to make money blogging, this is probably not going to be the best option to go after right away. But again, it could be a good option to look at once your blog is up and established. Now, as a beginner, you're far better off focusing on my number one suggestion, which I'm about to reveal, because it works with so many different blog topics and it's super easy to get started with. If you've been thinking about you know, becoming a blogger, I can assure you that the topics that you may want to start a blog about will do very well with the number one pick on our list. So let's move on. In the number two spot, we have the method of selling advertising space on your website. Now, selling ads is one of the most popular ways that you can make money blogging, and it's actually one of the easiest ways as well. The most basic form of this is display ads, and one of the most popular programs for this is Google AdSense. Now, all you need to do is sign up for an account and copy and paste some code into your website where you want to display an advertisement. And when people come to your website and they see the ad or when they click on the ad, you will earn money. Now, behind the scenes, Google does all the work in terms of finding advertisers, creating the advertising banners, and making payments to you. So it's extremely easy to set up, and the most work you will do is you know, track your earnings and maybe make adjustments to where you're displaying the ads on your blog. Now, personally, I have never used display ads as my only monetization method for a particular website. And the reason is that display ads are not what is driving my content creation. And what I mean by this is that, you know, my business revolves around topics where I can earn more by recommending specific products to my visitors as opposed to, you know, just showing them display ads. So I do use them sometimes, but not as my main monetization method. And I think a lot of other bloggers have this same approach. Now, a good example of a business that uses display ads as their you know, number one revenue stream would be a news website. You know, they don't have an underlying product to sell necessarily, so display ads are their go-to revenue source. And this also applies to places like forums, websites with free tools, and many food and recipe sites as well. So if you look up a recipe tonight on Google, you'll probably find a bunch of food blogs that have an annoying amount of display ads. Now, a common question is how much money can you make from display ads? And it's really hard to give an accurate answer to this question. A more accurate statement would be, you know, to make good money with blogging with just display ads, your blog needs to get a lot 
of traffic. Now, a very general estimate would be that you can earn $1,000 a month when you consistently receive 1,000 website visitors per day. Or, you know, another way to say this with a popular money milestone would be, you know, to reach that $100 per day mark from just display ads, you would need around 3,000 daily website visitors. Now, this estimate can absolutely go up and down, and it really depends on the topic of your website. For example, a blog in the insurance niche might make you more than $100 per day from 3,000 daily website visitors. However, if your website is in the entertainment niche, then you might not get anywhere close to these earnings. Now, there are some blog owners who share their earnings and they've stated that in some examples, they receive a click-through rate of 1% on their ad. So out of 100 people that see their ads, one person clicks and they receive 25 cents per click on average. So that's the cost per click. Now, in this case, your blog would need 40,000 page views a day to earn $100 per day. Assuming the average person will view you know, two pages per visit, that would require 20,000 visitors per day for $100 in earnings per day. So that's not really that great. Now on the flip side, some blog owners report a much higher click-through rate of say 5% and an average cost per click of 50 cents. So this blog would only need 2,000 daily website visitors to earn the same $100 per day. And these numbers you know, are starting to look much better. So this showcases the fact that bloggers can literally make 10 times more than others based on the topic of their blog. So this is why you know, choosing a niche is so important and why I would recommend that you watch my video, How to Choose a Niche, which I will link in the description below this video. So the point is, you know, you need a lot of website traffic, which usually correlates to a lot of blog posts to make good money from just display ads. Now, you know, estimates aside, display ads are super easy to set up and are often the first revenue stream for many bloggers. And what's also great is that they are rarely, you know, your only revenue source. As I mentioned earlier, you know, many bloggers combine display ads with other types of monetization methods, which leads us to the number one way to make money blogging. Now, the best way to make money blogging is through affiliate marketing. Now, this is my personal opinion, but if you do a few Google searches of your own, you'll see that most expert bloggers recommend affiliate marketing and they do it themselves. It's a primary revenue stream for them. Now, it's not as easy as just, you know, copying and pasting some Google AdSense onto your website, but it's pretty darn close. And for certain website topics, affiliate marketing has way more earning potential. So, you know, what is affiliate marketing? Well, Affiliate marketing is a business model which allows you to recommend someone else's product or service on your blog and earn a commission when it is sold. So you're just the middleman. You don't ship anything. You don't collect any payments. You simply send your website visitors to a vendor's website where they can purchase the product or sign up for the service. Now, as the blogger, your job is to pre-sell customers about a product or a service by creating useful content, and then you just connect them to where they can buy it. And this is usually done through an affiliate link on your website. Now, if they purchase and you are shown to be the referrer, then you will earn a commission. And this can be tracked through your unique affiliate link, you know, or a code the customer uses to purchase the product and you know the affiliate programs you work with they do all the tracking and they collect and you know send you all the payments so you don't need to do any of that type of work so let me jump over to my computer and show you a bunch of blogs that are doing affiliate marketing okay so really quickly i just want to show you some examples of websites that are doing affiliate marketing and you can do this stuff too some of these are going to be big companies but some of these examples are going to be from individuals just like me and you so we're on google and this is where the majority of your website visitors are going to start before they find your blog and i've plugged in a keyword here into google best blender for smoothies now over on my keyword research tool, Ahrefs, you can see it has a difficulty score of 39, so it's a bit of a competitive term. And then 
then on the right here, you can see that it receives around 14,000 searches every single month. So that is a very high search term. Now, if you need more information on keyword research, then again, I would recommend you watch my keyword research for beginners video, and I'll link that in the description here. But we'll go ahead and hit Google search. And now we're going to find, you know, some websites that rank well for this keyword. And if we just scroll down, we'll just look at the top two websites here. So I'll open these in a new tab and we'll see how affiliate marketing is done. So we'll jump to the first one here. Okay, the strategist and we'll scroll down and you can see a display ad here and then they have the best blenders for smoothies according to chefs and smoothie fanatics. And you can see they've got some good information all about blenders for smoothies. And the best smoothie blender overall is the Vitamix Series 750 blender, professional grade. Now, what I'm hovering over here is their affiliate link. So if I click this, I'm gonna be redirected to Amazon. And if I were to go and purchase this blender right now, it's $514, then this website, The Strategist, is going to receive a commission. And Amazon, the commissions vary sometimes, but it's going to be somewhere around, you know, three or four percent. So, you know, $20 if I go and add this to my cart and purchase this blender right now because what i did there is i clicked their affiliate link so this website the strategist recommended you know this blender they told me where to buy it over on amazon and if i were to do that they would receive money now in terms of display ads we saw a display ad at the top of their website you know if i were to click this display ad i'm assuming these guys would maybe get you know 10 cents for that maybe 25 cents you know a dollar at the most now if i go down and buy this blender uh, I this website is going to receive, you know, almost $20 in commission. Now, you know, me plugging in a search term like the best blender for smoothies, you know, I am I have a high buyer intent and they show me a list and they recommend this as the top one. You know, many of their website visitors who find them through Google through this search are actually going to click this and buy. So I would imagine that, you know, a lot of their website visitors would be high converting. So they're going to sell a lot of these blenders and make a lot of money. And if you just scroll down, you know, they review all of them, $30 at Amazon, this one, you know, 290 at Amazon. So these are affiliate links. If I click this, I'm gonna be sent to Amazon where I can potentially purchase this blender. Now, the other website does the exact same thing. Okay, goodhousekeeping.com. They have a display ad. And as I mentioned, you know, they'll probably get pennies if I click that. But if I scroll down and look at their top 10 list, overall, their best blender is here, the Vitamix E310 Explorian Blender. If I click that, I'm gonna be sent to Amazon. And if I purchase it, this website will make a commission. And that's how affiliate marketing works for websites and blogs. Now, you know, Good Housekeeping, that's a big website run by, you know, more of a company type of setup. And same with our first example here, The Strategist, that's a big, you know, website with a lot of authors and editors and so on. But, you know, people like me and you are doing affiliate marketing just at a smaller scale. And if we look at some other examples here, and these are just random examples I found. You know, here's this woman, Amanda Wood, she has a travel blog. So she probably recommends, you know, hotels and trips. And this article, this blog post is called The 10 Romantic gifts for your travel lover found on Etsy and she lists a whole bunch and if we were to click these you know your own departure romance board and we click this here we're going to be sent to Etsy and if we purchase anything at Etsy right now Amanda is going to receive an affiliate commission so if we buy this for $29 and we you know purchase some other things she's going to receive commissions another example mommy to the max so this author here uh, Lotus, she blogs about, you know, topics relating to parenting and motherhood and all that kind of stuff. So she has a blog post, the best non-toxic playmats for babies. And if we scroll down, she's going to probably list a whole bunch uh, that she recommends. And if we were to click these, we're going to be taken to a website. And if we make a purchase, then Lotus is going to receive an affiliate commission. So if we add any of these to our cart, we've clicked her affiliate link. Uh, the affiliate programs track this and she will receive a commission. Another one here, this is a popular guitar website. It started very small. It's grown into, you know, a really high authority website all about the guitar. Their article here, the best, you know, 10 best acoustic guitars. Again, we scroll down, they give us a whole list, they review them. If we go to Amazon or we read the full review and then go to Amazon and make a purchase, this website, Guitar 
fella is going to receive commissions. More examples, you know, in the finance niche, youngandthrifty.ca. So this is a website targeting Canadians, the best online brokerage accounts in Canada. So if we scroll down here, we can see, you know, which ones they recommend. So on the top of their list, Quest Trade. If we go to Quest Trade and we sign up for this brokerage account and we make a deposit, you know, that website is going to receive either a payment or some sort of uh, commission fee based on the percentage that I deposit, or maybe it's a one-time payment of $50 and so on. But the point is, this website is going to get credit for that. They are an affiliate of Quest Trade. I clicked on their affiliate link. I come to Quest Trade, I sign up, and this website makes money. And again, you know, just one more example, you know, theme, island here how to make a wordpress website they give a step-by-step -step plan so it's a big blog post all about you know creating a website on wordpress they recommend certain things within this website like sign up for web hosting we recommend bluehost i click this i go to bluehost if i sign up you know this website would receive receive something like 50 or 60 dollars if i were to go and sign up so there are so many examples of this and you know if you're not sure what your blog should be about I do have this PDF, the 287 most profitable niches for affiliate marketing. Uh, and you can see here, I've described them all into different categories, health, relationships, wealth, hobbies and interests, personal development. You can scroll down, you can see this whole list. So if you'd like a copy of this, uh, I will include a link where you can grab this PDF in the description below this video. Now there are 3.5 billion searches on Google every single day. People are searching for all types of information. So as a blog owner, you wanna create content about topics that your audience is searching for on Google and other search engines. And when they find your great content, they are open to your product recommendations. So, you know, with some of the examples that we just looked at, you know, if you're a lifestyle blogger and you recommend a Vitamix blender for making smoothies, you know, some of your readers will make a purchase through your affiliate link and you will earn commissions. If you have a blog about finance and you recommend, you know, certain credit cards or an online brokerage, you can earn affiliate commissions if your readers sign up through your affiliate links. If you love the guitar and, you know, you create a blog all about guitars and you recommend that your readers buy guitars at Amazon, you will receive commissions when they make purchases. So there are millions and millions of products that you can promote as an affiliate marketer. And it's really one of the best monetization methods for blogging in my opinion. So how do you actually start? Now, this is when people will tell you to go set up your website and buy a hosting package from Bluehost, but you're actually skipping some really important steps. So you need to first really understand what affiliate marketing is and how it works when a blog is your main platform and then envision yourself being successful with it. And, you know, in order to do that, you need to choose a niche, a topic for your blog and actually do some initial research and come up, you know, with a content plan. So you need to do all this important stuff before registering a website and choosing your blog name. Now, a lot of tutorials on YouTube just send you to their guide on starting a blog and encourage you to sign up to a web hosting company that they're affiliated with and just leave you to kind of figure out the rest. And, you know, this isn't helpful for most people. So don't go create your blog yet. Don't go sign up to a web hosting account yet. You know, don't go choose a theme and design your website. Before you do any of that, you need to, you know, do some planning and researching and fully understand how you can be successful with affiliate marketing. So here are your next steps to getting started with affiliate marketing and creating a blog that actually makes a lot of money. Firstly, subscribe to this YouTube channel because I am going to be releasing tutorials like this every single week that will help you make money online. Next, I would recommend that you download my five-step blueprint, which reveals exactly how I do affiliate marketing and how I personally make money from my website. So you can find a link to download this resource directly below this video. Lastly, consider watching some of my related videos on affiliate marketing, which I'll put up on the screen now. I have full videos on you know, how to start affiliate marketing, and how to choose your niche or blog topic, which I think you'll find very useful. And as always, I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one.